Good morning, Squatty. What's for breakfast? Better be something good. All they serve in the battlefield are shrapnel sandwiches without any bread. <laughs> What's all the hullabaloo? A little early for a party. Oh, good morning, Stanley. It's an arm wrestling contest. Seems like they're having fun. Well, it can't be all that fun. They didn't invite me. What's new, buckaroo? Things are really heating up here. Wonder who threw this shindig together. Morning, Stanley. God damn it, I lost again. What's your win streak now? Eh, I don't know. Lost count after the first hundred or so. Howdy, Gene. I assume you're the brains and the brawn behind this party? Stanley, you son of a bitch. You my next challenger? Well, I'm here, so I may as well be. No need to hold back now. Hit me with your best shot. Fire away, huh? Karen, you got any open beds in the sick bay? This is probably gonna end in a broken arm. Right now, it's standing room only, I'm afraid. No worries, Mean G-Machine. I ain't gonna break your arm. You're a funny guy, Stanley. I like you. And that's why I'm gonna kill you last. I thought this was arm wrestling, not armed wrestling. If it's a shootout you want, you best bring extra ammo. Cause I may run out of bullets, but I'll never run out of zingers. Boosh! <laughs> Good one! Funny man! Hoo-hoo-wee! <laughs> Someone actually gets my spoofs and goose! You're all right in my book. <laughs> Looks like they're enjoying themselves. <laughs> Birds of a feather joke together, or something. Cracking wise to save lives. That's the Barclay way. <laughs> Uh-oh. Someone doesn't have a smile on their face. Or a face at all. Hey there, Care Bear. Who's that girl in the iron mask? You mean Ferrier? Eh? Yeah, her. She needs to turn that unseen frown upside down. This looks like a job for Funny Man Stan. Hey there, fairy air. Got a sick? I have a joke for you. Hmm? My buddy John and I were on a camping trip when a grizzly bear started chasing us. But the bear was way faster than us. So I said to John, I don't gotta outrun the bear, I just gotta outrun you. And now he's dead. <laughs> oh, real knee slapper, right? <clears throat> Where are you headed, fairy air? Time to feed your pet rock or something? It's fairy air, and I have gun maintenance to do. Who put a bee in her bonnet? Sounds like someone had a bowl of bullets for breakfast without any milk. I don't know about that, but she does keep to herself. Maybe the mask makes it hard for her to open up to people. Why the heck does she wear it anyhow? Something to do with her father. Not sure on the details. Who? Color me curious. But the real mystery is why she didn't laugh at my spoofs and goofs. Maybe because they're not funny? Say we're doing field training tomorrow, ain't we, sir? How's about putting me on Fairy Air's team? I want to get to know her a little better. In that case, count me in. That okay with you, sir? Strengthening the bond between squad mates will help us work together during real missions. Well, you do have a point. I don't know. With these two on the job? It'll be fine. All right. And I don't see a problem with it. Okay. Let's not count our eggs before they chicken. First, we need to get her to take off that mask. Got a plan, Stan? Nope. Let's make like a stand-up comedian and improvise. Ha-cha-cha! So, oh, um, this one is gonna be annoying because, well, Stanley is not one of my favorite characters. Well, I say Let's that, it's supposed to be annoying. Anyway, that being said, it's another squad story. And this one is about Fairy Air, the girl in the Iron Mask. 
And it is just another capture the um, camp mission here. So yeah, we can bring in two more things. So I may want to bring in a couple of, um, I don't know, should I bring in some? Yeah, definitely bring in some, um, I can't even think now, engineers! So yeah, and that's all for now, though I may well deploy some more when it starts. And there is a reason why Ferrier wears the mask, by the way, and it's probably quite sad. <laughs> Let's dance, baby! Time to boogie woogie, shake your derriere, Ferrier! It's Ferrier. I've been saying her name right. What's Stanley's excuse? Probably a, a, a cheap way to make a cheap pun. Anyway, that being said, um, yeah, we can see on the map there are three tanks down there. And uh, yeah, maybe I should have brought in the thing, but never mind. I'll, I'll have a look at Stanley as a trooper. Those jokes seem lame. Say there, Ferrier. Why do you wear that helmet in battle? <laughs> you some kind of knight in shining armor from medieval times? Like hell, she'd be a million years old. Or dead. Then what is it? Everyone else here has a crazy backstory. <laughs> Take my spoofs and goofs, for example. The world's full of doom and gloom these days. I reckon folks could use a reason to smile. Out here we could bat the bullet any second. Would you rather die with a whimper or a wink? And if laughter's the best medicine, then a chuckle a day keeps the reaper away. I'm cracking wise to save lives. Oh, I had no idea. That's why I figure you must have a whale of the tail behind that mask. Come on, we're squad mates. I can keep a secret. You assume it has to do with what I want. I never take this mask off. Because I can't. <laughs> Guess the old saying is true. When I assume, I make an ass out of you and me. <laughs> Boosh! Well, at least I can say this about Stanley. He can keep a straight face when, um, confronted with the truth. <laughs> Very few people can do that. I'll, get, I'll hand it to him there. Um, anyway, that being said, uh, yeah, I'll probably end the turn there. We can see over there there is one of the tanks. So um, I think we should use um, probably uh, our good friend um, Gene here to blow up one of the tanks here. Uh, meanwhile, I'll have Fairy Air throw the grenade and uh, blow it up. Well, that's scout. Okay, that just sounds wrong coming from my lips, seriously. There's also another scout behind me there. So, I don't have the momentum with thing, and I don't have the ability to command my troops because um, I do not have a command unit on the field, except maybe for Claude. And Claude does not have that ability. And I have to be careful here because I don't want the uh, tanks, which are directly to the left of me, to blow up the Hafen if they get behind it. So yeah, so I'm gonna have to be careful. This is the, um, by the way, the foggy stage from uh, from um, gonna say later in the game. So yeah, so let's back up and end the turn. And let's see. Well, I can't really some. Um, and summon my uh, troops that readily, so I'm gonna have to improvise here and um, get them in the thing there. So let's see, I'll send for Brittany. Uh, Raz? Shall we get Raz, Mr. Invincible? Maybe it's. No, nah, I probably want to put both Raz and Zyga together um, if I do summon them. Uh, I don't know who I summon because I lean back on my chair there, so. Uh, so, I'm guessing I summoned Viola and Emmy. I don't know, they do actually have some good rapport there. So, duck down there, um... Uh, that, um... Thing there, I don't know, but it doesn't matter. Okay, so the... The tanks are just labelled as Federation tanks, not even as... Um... So, 
Is this just a mock battle? I'm gonna say it is because that makes some sense. <laughs> Excuse me. So you can see there, before it went to the battle, that our goal is actually on the bottom right hand corner. So yeah, near the enemy camp, but uh, yeah. Another trooper there, so I'm gonna be careful. Is he gonna come towards me? So, um, okay. Apparently he stopped. Apparently he doesn't like facing two annoying troopers. There's also a Lancer there, which is very annoying because, well, you know what happened with Lancers in um, the, my, Val my LP of Valkyria Chronicles 1. So, with that said, I can honestly say I'm going to use the troopers I've amassed in the northern camp to take down the um, thing, if I can. Uh, so yeah, let's send you out there, um, Gene, and get as close to those tanks as possible. Okay, so you can actually see their radiators glowing, so let's see, can I get a one-hit KO on one of these um, large tanks? Yeah, there we go. And this time, uh, we do want to blow them up. So yeah, we only get like three shots uh, uh, with any of our um, things. Uh, let's see. Well, I'll send in Viola anyway. She can um, take out some of the other troops on the other side. Starting with that uh, one trooper there that I blew up with the Huffins Mortar. There we go. And then, um, let's see. Yeah, I'll have her take cover behind the Hafen. <laughs> and yeah, let's see. There's a Lancer down there now. Um, I don't want to send any of my um, things down there because, well, we'll see. But for now, let's get you down to the thing. Oh, no, boy, they're crouching. Yeah, a crouching uh, thing is, of course, I've already mentioned how resistant they are to blasts, our Lancers. So this is most definitely the case here. And I'm going to have to endure a hail of bullets from those things. As for the two um, soldiers here in front of well, Stanley and Ferrier, well, I might well get this. Uh, I actually went off there and went to get this. Apparently he's a trooper. Okay, well. Oh, no, no, no. He's a scout. My fault. I was looking at Stanley's uh, health bar there, not the uh, soldiers is in the lower right-hand corner, not the upper left. Get that in your head, man! Anyway, that being said, there's still two um, soldiers there. So, yeah. Let's send you in a bit closer and... Yeah, that's one very good potential for Jean Brawny. She can uh, easily... Uh, um, deal with heavy moves. Again, she's a Lancer anyway, so... She can deal with a heavy gunfire pretty well, actually. <laughs> Except for headshots. Excuse my coughing, I have a terrible cold. So, yeah. So, let's see. Can I blow up the last tank? That will make it easier for the Hoffman to get through. There we go. And with that, I will crouch down and end the turn. Why not? We're done here for now. So, end the turn and um, let's see what happens. Uh, the only threat now to the Hafen is that annoying um, Lancer in the corner. And given that he doesn't have anywhere to hide, um, I think <coughs> Emmy can easily uh, get his HP down quite a bit. And, he, and she did. She didn't outright kill him, but that's fine. That's fine. That's why I have two... Um, um, Engineers, just in case anything happened to the Harpen. Seriously, because plenty of things will happen to the Harpen, let me tell ya! So, uh, one guy's shooting me in the back. Ooh, bloody Ray. And then, let's see. Another engineer there, he's crawling about. And then I'm reduced. She is taking quite a bit of hits. Yeah, I know she's a, a lot of muscle, is Jean, but please. 
there's only so much some people can take, you know. Anyway, that being said, kaboom. Yeah, okay, there's a, is there a second Lancer on the map? I'm gonna say there is, let's see. Um, I can't see that there is. Actually, yes, there is. Yeah, there's one on the lower map there. I don't know if the, um, enemy, um, well, I can't call it the enemy camp because these are Federation soldiers, actually, even said with the tanks. So let's repair the Hafen with our fanboy or lard. Yes. Where's the tank? Seriously, that's one of his lines. <laughs> totally a fanboy. Um, so, let's see. Let's send you in Viola down here towards the, the other Lancer and shoot him down. There we go. <clears throat> and... And there's the matter of the other Lancer down here, as well as a few troopers, but we can deal with that. So, uh, with that one done, I'll send you in Ferrier and um, head towards this. Uh, so which one? Okay, get that trooper there. Why am I using Ragnade? I do not know. Don't need to heal him. If anything, um, well, our good friend Ferrier has performed well in this fight, actually. So let's see. Let's get this party started. There are three soldiers down there: a trooper, a lancer, and an engineer. So let's get down there. Doesn't that visor limit your field of vision in combat? It's fine. I'm used to it. Hmm. Gene, you dropped something. Oh, my photo! Oh, is that a picture of your hubby? Yeah. Uh, thanks for catching that, Ferrier. Of course. But I didn't know you were married. And that's because I never told you. Why not? I mean, you never asked. <laughs> Never took the mean gene machine to be a blushing bride. Remember, Stanley, when I promised to kill you last? I lied. Come flab it, I was just pulling your leg. Sure, it was in poor taste, but I, how? Oh, oh my. I'd be happy to tell you about my husband, Ferrier. But in return, I'd like to know about your mask. Maybe next time. I wonder if that was conversation or blackmail. Anyway, that being said, um, let's see. I will use the um, thing down here on this guy and blow him up and whatnot. And, okay, so what was that? Uh, so I took down this, the true. Oh no, I didn't take down the trooper. So let's have you. Um, Crouch there, um, Stanley, and let's see, so we have a Lancer and a Trooper there. I don't know if I have to worry about the Grenadier or not, um, seriously. Um, I don't know if we're out of their range, to be honest. If I get too far away, I'll be within their range, I think, but they are neatly planted behind that building, so I don't think that'll be too much of a problem. <clears throat> okay, so... Let's, um, okay, that guy's crouching. Although, uh, that might be enough to take him down, the guy's only a scout. Um, as for the gate, which is what we want to take, want to open, like before, actually, um, then, yeah. Okay, so we have the enemy surrounded, at least. We still have to worry about the sniper, but, no, I might not go for that. After all, our goal is that. One thing there. Okay, one of the soldiers is breaking off, I think. Hard to tell from there, so... Yeah. No big deal. Because I have that Lancer surrounded, he can't go behind the half and... Well, they will probably have the momentum to do so, but... You know. So, that being said, uh, let's see. Okay, so who do I want to send in here? Okay, so uh, the main thing is that um, 
we do want either of the main um, soldiers involved in this one to actually retreat. Fair enough. So let's shoot down the Lancer there. And then we can deal with the gate. So who's going to be the one to open the gate? Does Emmy have enough mobility to reach there? Uh, I think she does, but... Don't look at the gate, you idiot! Seriously. The actual switch is on the left-hand side. Either that or I could, I could use one of my land... Uh, not land, so engineers to get there, because they do have the mobility. So let's move the Hafen forward. Again, this might make it a target for that uh, thing, but I don't care. Um, what my thought process was here was to blow up the gate, but <coughs> obviously that wouldn't work. And then, right, do I use any of my soldiers to open the gate? Let's see. So, um, Viola, let's see. Are you going over to the gate? Are you going to take out those soldiers? Okay, so you're going to take out those soldiers. Fair enough. I'll just skip ahead to where I open the gate. Appropriately enough, it is Ferrier who opens the gate. And so we can now get the Hoffman inside there and pretty much tear down the northern camp. I don't know, I'll use Ferrier herself. That works, although there's a bunch of soldiers in there. So maybe I should use the Hoffman to get in there and use the mortar and everything. If I didn't use up all my CP, that is. Seriously, but never mind, um, we'll deal with it as it comes. Uh, can you actually be Okay. Yeah, that wasn't too bad, actually, given your distance there, Fairy Ear. And that's it! Seriously, that's it! Um, okay, fine, I'm, I'll take it! I'll, I'll bloody well take it! Get in there, Claude! Okay, so, um... Um... Use the uh, mortar, etc, etc, kaboom, and... Okay, I didn't take out the other soldiers, but never mind. Do we have any lances here? I think we had a great idea, but... Uh, both of these have Gatling turrets to do these guys, so... Uh, let's send you in, Emmy. Okay, so I'm facing the wrong way there. I want to go over here and get those Gatling soldiers there. So you take that one out, Emmy. Kaboom! And then the, um, and then, let's see, I can't take, oh, maybe I can take the enemy camp, actually. I don't know. Might not want to, given the circumstances, but maybe I'm just being an idiot. I probably am being an idiot, but I don't care. Get in the uh, fairy here and take out that last soldier. And I think you have the mobility to take the camp as well, so there we go. And indeed, uh, then just take the camp. There we go. Mission complete. Oh, now that was a good workout. Say there, fairy air. How about we kick back, crack open a cold one, and shoot the breeze? Sorry, but it's getting late. I'm heading back to my tent. Hey, Stanley, Jean. About you guys trying to help Ferrier open up. She just came by to file a complaint. She told me a couple of bullies won't leave her alone. That they keep bothering her about her mask. What in tarnation? Who are these jerkwads bothering my girl? You two, duh! Just go explain yourselves and apologize. So that's what this is all about. You are only trying to help. Sorry I misunderstood that. We're the ones who should be apologizing. Didn't mean to give you such a hard time. We're mighty sorry. But can't you at least give us a hint why you wear that iron mask? It's been nagging at me so much I can't sleep at night. Kinda like my ex-wife, but without all the snoring. <sighs> I was born out of wedlock. The product of a nobleman's illicit affair. My features bear a striking resemblance to his mistress. My mother. 
If I were to be seen in public, my lord father's noble indiscretion would be as plain as the nose on my face. Thus, he covered up the evidence to save face, literally. I've been ordered to wear a mask for the rest of my life. That selfish prick! Unbelievable! It's fine. Such is a bastard's fate. He didn't have to acknowledge me, let alone raise me. I have to be thankful for at least that much. You... you lucky bastard! Literally! Excuse me? Oh, the irony of it all! It's like rain on your birthday, or, or paying for a freebie. I wish I had a backstory like that. You have quite a... unique definition of irony. And no one's ever called me lucky before. <laughs> You really are a funny man, Stan. That's the Barclay way. But your life takes the cake. As a comedian, I'm downright jealous of you. Then I envy you both. You're free to live your lives without hiding who you are. Perhaps I'd see the humor in it, too. If I could see it all in this thing. Huh? Ferrier, did you just make a joke? But seriously, I thought you accepted the mask as your fate. Unless you really do want to take it off. In which case, allow me. I appreciate it, but that's quite impossible. This mask has a lock on it. And my father holds the key. I can't even take it off to bathe. Let me show you the best tool for picking locks. Ah! My fists. Holy guacamole! That popped off like a champagne cork! How did you... So that's what you look like. I... You're gorgeous. <laughs> Why'd she run off? And why was she blushing? Beats me, mean Jean Machine. But it must have hurt when she fell from heaven. Cause she's an angel. Jean, I want you to know I didn't appreciate you removing my mask without my consent. But only the lock was broken. So I forgive you. Fortunately, I was able to put it back on. Why, dang it! You finally got rid of that bucket! Don't you want to live your life without hiding? Well... I've been wearing it for so long now... It's like armor. I feel naked without it. I can't just... Expose everything I am after years of hiding. I'm not prepared for that yet. So... I think I'll keep it on. A little longer. <sighs> you can take the mask from the girl, but you can't take the girl from the mask. Or something like that. <laughs> well, it ain't our place to tell you what to wear. And besides, I'm tickled pink with how this shook out. Mission accomplished, I reckon. Our mission? You mean our goal to help Ferrier open up? In case you didn't notice, she went back to hiding her face. Don't matter how she looks, it's her heart we unmasked. <laughs> she opened up to us a smidge, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> Thanks for all the help I didn't want. Whoa! Hey, Ferrier. Don't go laughing just yet, because now it's time to sit down while I stand up with my latest comedy routine. <laughs> We're in for it now. I can't wait. Let's hear it, Stanley. Of course. So a guy walks into a bar and he says, Ouch! <laughs> I'm here all week. Tip your waitress. 